In Tableau 2020.2, Tableau have added several features to the As Data capability, most notably data roles. Data roles allow you to do some sort of preliminary work, add synonyms, you know, change descriptions to specific fields in As Data, and then apply those as a published role so other data sources can then use that information themselves. Okay, so let me show you how that works. I'm going to head over here to explore. I'm going to hit the top level drop down and I'm going to go to one of my data sources. It's called Superstore data source, uh, how original that is. Okay. And you can see here that ask data is actually enabled on this particular data source. Now, if I go over to segment here, you can see that I get this sort of pencil icon when I hover over it and I get a little preview of what's actually in the field. I've got uh, three domain values, consumer, corporate and home office. Uh, it's a string field and it has three unique values, the ones I've just uh, sort of highlighted. And then if I click on this edit icon, I actually get this interface that allows me to add a data role. OK, so what does this actually mean? Well, if I look at this field, I want it to be easy for users to be able to type and ask questions in Tableau and ask data. So what I need to be able to do is choose words here, for example, that could be synonymous with a segment. So I might just say a demographic. So for example, so if I just click inside of here and I just type in demographic and I uh, hit enter, you'll see that it's added that there as well. I'll also expand these three values and you'll see that it, it, it's it's loading these fields, um, but it, sometimes it's a little bit buggy. This is a beta version. So now you can see it's loaded them up. So now here I can just say consumer. Um, maybe someone might type it. So let me just hit consume and see what happens. Uh, I'll call this business as well, because sometimes you know, you might call your corporate customers your business customers, right? So let's just uh, let's make sure we hit enter as we type that. So I'm actually clicking out. What I need to do is hit enter and then you'll see that it actually stores that particular item there. And then I'll just say uh, add another synonym for this, which is home. So I've got three synonyms there and one for the main uh, field itself for segment. If I drop that down, you can see that here. Now, what I can do is I can actually add this as a saved data role. So let me publish this data role up. I'm going to publish it to my 2020.2 release uh, folder. I need to give it a name. So I'll call this segment roles. Okay. You need to call things in a logical sense. I'll zoom back out a bit so we can see a bit more of this content. And then I'm going to hit publish. Okay. And when we publish this out, um, you'll see that this is now actually published and it now acquires that segment role just there. Now, when I click on that again, you now see a different interface because you can see it says that I've applied this data role myself. But more importantly, I can actually apply a different role. So you can see here that I created one a little bit earlier in another project. And I can actually click on that, hit apply, and it will pick up those assignments. So it removes the demographic synonym that I have there and it adds those three back in because I actually previously typed them in. But if I just go back and I apply a different role again, one of the new ones I created, hit apply, demographics comes back and the three unique values get the new consume, business and home options. OK, so that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. That's uh, the, the feature sort of mostly covered. Check out the other videos on the new Ask Data capabilities that are available um, uh, for more information. OK, that's it pretty much. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.